Hi, I'm Kelsey from RuffandTumbleFarmhouse.com, and today we're going to be talking about Nubian goats and Gary the barn cat. So contrary to popular belief, Nubian goats do not originate from the Nubia area in Africa. They may have kind of started from there. They were called that just because of the Roman nose is what all goats were called were Nubians if they had that kind of curved nose. But uh, those goats were crossed with goats in the United Kingdom, um, including the Swiss Alpine, and that's how we have the Nubian goat that we have today. Grace here, she is a classic Nubian. You can see she's got the long, pendulous ears. She also has the curved Roman nose. These are her kids from this year that unfortunately she has rejected. You can see that here are kids. They've just been disbudded a couple of days ago. So Nubians do have horns. They do have some that are pulled, but the genetics that I have are not pulled. One of the cool things about Nubians is that they come in a lot of different colors. Here you can see our little gal here. She's brown with a dorsal stripe. We also have ones that are black, tan, white, other variations of brown. You can even have moon spotted variations as well. Nubian goats are really great for milk production. They can also be used for meat, but primarily they are used as a dairy breed. Our Nubian's really easy to milk, and the milk is creamy, rich, and delicious. She gives about three quarters a gallon a day. Nubians are a larger goat breed. These girls here are pretty small, but they can range between 100 to 180 pounds. They will live to up to 14 years if they are well taken care of. Nubians are also one of the most popular goat breeds in the United States. They have the highest number of registered goats in terms of the American Dairy Goat Association. Nubians can do okay in winter temperatures. It gets very cold here in Minnesota, and as long as these goats are out of the wind and have good dry bedding, they seem to manage all right. Nubians have a really nice temperament. They are very friendly, but they do tend to be a little more on the dramatic side. They are very vocal goats, but they love being around people and other goats. This is our buck graham cracker. He is such a sweetheart. We've had two Nubian bucks here at our farm and they have both been just real honeys and really great to work with. So they're a nice goat in that you're not worried about having aggressive bucks on your farm. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you learned something about Nubian goats today and might think about adding them to your homestead. They are so fun to have. They are real sweethearts and we really like having them here at our farm. You can always find more content here with Penny and Herschel and their mom, Grace. At our channel, we have new videos every single week and two new posts over on the blog about farming, family, food, and fortitude here at our rough and tumble farmhouse. Say bye, kids. Say bye. <laughs>